morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching us from. Welcome to Green Ridges. This is your number one online farming channel where we tackle matters farming. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification button so that YouTube may automatically notify you whenever we post a new video. Karibuni sana. So in this specific video, we're going to be we're going to be irrigating a farm size of something that is a slightly above a quarter an acre, because that is where we've uh, planted the capsicum. Huh? Yes, and uh, of course we're going to be using uh, its soft water from the river. So when you see a pump, you see a water source and pipes. I suppose you already have a clue of what we'll be tackling today. So if you thought irrigation, then you're correct. Today we're going to be looking at irrigation. So let's start from the basics. What exactly is irrigation? So we can we can basically or simply define irrigation as the, the process of uh, fulfilling the water needs of crops through any artificial water supply. So be it you, you have a plant or a crop or a flower on your balcony and uh, you use even a cup or a kasuku to water it. Basically what you're doing is uh, irrigation, but on, on, a, on a smaller scale, of course. So um, I know this, there could be someone out there who's wondering, is irrigation even necessary? And yes, it is. In what instance? We have to realize that at times rainfall isn't enough. The rain that falls isn't enough to fulfill the, the the water needs of crops. So that is where that is where irrigation comes in handy. Well, we have to realize that uh, most crops, if not all, are made up of 90% water or even more. So in that instance, it goes without saying, water is quite a requisite for the development and the well-doing of crops. Huh? Because of course it it helps in supply of nutrients it increases productivity i mean you can differentiate from a well watered plant to one that is experiencing water deficiencies from just the outlook so that 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 shows that water is quite a requisite for crops So in irrigation, there are two main types of irrigations. There's uh, the traditional means, which were used kitambo. That is uh, whereby you, you draw water manually using a, using a, a container. And you go to the shamba and, uh, of course, you, you pour the water. That is, uh, that is what people used to do manually. And then, of course, there's the modern means, eh? That is where, whereby people use sprinklers, others use drip, others do it manually, but with the assistance of pumps and uh, and uh, pipes. And I think that is where we fall. That is our category. Sisi you how we are those ones. So we're going to be looking at uh, at the advantages and the disadvantages of these this type of uh, 
this type of uh, irrigation. Well, for us, eh, as you can see, as you can tell, there's a water source in our shamba. There's a seasonal river that runs through the farm. So what we did, we just made a small reservoir. We used kunias and uh, mchanga, a few meshes and uh, mbaukidogo. That is how we made the reservoir. It's something that is uh, simple to make. Uh, of course, so that we can uh, we can submerge our, our pipes there and then use the pump to pump the water to the crops. Mm, the pump for the pump we use a we use a seven horsepower pump. It's a high pressure pump which uh, makes you, when you when you when you're looking for a pump you're looking for something that is efficient, but then you're looking for something that is not too powerful because of course. You have to look at. You have to be cost conscious as a farmer. So you're looking for something that is going to serve you, but it's not going to be wasteful. On the other hand, so in this instance, uh, we found this quite uh, applicable to us. Although we're still not using it, we're still not maximizing its use. Uh, but in the future, we suppose that we're going to be doing so. It's a. It's a gasoline pump. Which makes it uh, quite expensive to ha to run at this this time and place because uh, I know we all understand that the prices of petrol are skyrocketing each and every day. Okay, so and then uh, I know many people realize that this is not the most efficient. Uh, this is not the most efficient way of uh, irrigating. There are others that are quite efficient. For instance, drip irrigation. It says on water. It's also quite uh, cost efficient. I'm not talking about the initial cost of uh, establishing a drip system. I'm just talking of the consequent uses. It's quite a f price. Uh, it's quite uh, affordable to use in the sense that it saves quite a lot of water. But on the other hand, as you can tell, we are not using it. So why exactly did we even choose to go for the manual uh, for the manual irrigation system. One, it does not require any technical knowledge. There's no additional professional intervention necessary. As you can tell, it's quite easy to use. Once the pump is on, all you need is just to hold the hose pipe, and of course you water the plants. No rocket science here. Anyone can do it. Anyone who's willing can do this. Anyone who has the will and the passion to do this, it's very easy. Another thing that led us to use the manual irrigation system is the fact that uh, the the initial cost of investment is uh, is not as high in comparison to other to other to other to other to other means of irrigation. For instance, uh, for a drip system, you require piping, you require tanks. This one, you only require pipes and a pump, and of course the water source, and that's it. You're good to go. Another advantage of this uh, system is that uh, it is uh, you can water a very large area. You water more area because you have to realize. Uh, well, I'm using. I'm 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 going to be comparing it to the most efficient, which would have to be drip irrigation. For drip irrigation, you find that it waters in drops. Despite the fact that it's efficient, you're watering a really specific area. But for this one. You can water a large area.
So that leads us to our fourth advantage, which is, is which is uh, crops get sufficient water, as you can see. Hakuna kupima maji hapa. Like you just water, water, water until you realize that uh, they've had enough. So it goes without saying, everything that has advantages, of course, has disadvantages. Huh? It has quite a number of, it, of disadvantages, but we just we'll just look at a few. One, there's a, there's, there's the obvious, you waste quite an, a lot of water. For us, the advantage is that we're getting it from a river. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we should waste the water. If this water was being pumped through a meter, maybe through the Kanjo system, the bills would really hit us hard. So another thing, there's an imbalance of, in distribution. Like I said there before, we, we, we are comparing it to the most efficient, which would ha we'd have to be the drip irrigation. So in drip irrigation, you find that if if every crop gets a drop at a time, but for this one, there's imbalance. Eh? Ukisikia kupea hii mingi, unaipea. Ukisikia hii unaipungozea, unaipungozea. There's nothing to measure the amount of water that you, that you, that you irrigate on a, on a specific crop. You just do it manually. There's no timer. There's no indication this one has had enough, this one has not had enough. So you, you find a lot of imbalances in the distribution of water. Then of course, the, the fact that Hupimi Maji brings out brings uh, us to the third disadvantage which would have to be the logging of water in the farm this is really really hazardous to the crops because of course water as much as it's necessary when there's too much of it this leads to diseases in crops and uh, it also helps in harboring of uh, some pests so another disadvantage that comes about with this manual irrigation system is that it's a uh, time consuming it takes quite a lot of time another thing is that it uh, it requires a lot of labor and that uh, can be quite tiring as is apparent in this video lazima ukume kula fiti yeah that happens
Uh, so someone had asked uh, whether we intend to change the irrigation method in the future. And uh, yeah, the answer would have to be a yes. We actually intend to to use drip irrigation in the consequent uh, farms, farming seasons. As uh, we had indicated there before, the reason why we didn't start with a drip irrigation system is because uh, it's slightly pricey. The manual method is, uh, is more affordable in comparison to that with the drip irrigation uh, method uh, because of the equipment and uh, for the drip irrigation, of course, apart from the pipes and the pump, you also require, you also require tanks and of course you require more pipes eh, for them to be laid down uh, according to all dependent on the size of your land, of course. So that's it on the irrigation segment. Remember, if you have a question, an inquiry, any issue it won't clarify, hit us up on the comment section. We'll be doing subsequent videos on the same. Remember to subscribe, to hit the notification bell so that YouTube may automatically notify you whenever we upload a new video. We are out.